But, you know, even if you could do that, if you if you can set up, especially on a map like this, um, you know, some of the bigger maps play out a little bit better, but you can still, you can still spawn rape. And I, again, I was trying to melee that guy. Um, you know, if I was a little more focused on this game, I probably could have uh, turned out and got more kills than, than I actually ended up getting this game. Um, but, you know, get rid of tactical spawn points. Um, or reduce the number, you know, maybe you can set it up so that there's only one, or, you know, not even, or none. None or all or none, whatever. Um, you know, you could uh, set it up so that you can't use certain classes. You could set it up so that you couldn't use certain weapons. I mean, it was awesome. It was awesome. And we could have got some really good games going, some really good servers going. I would have been all over that, but um, as it is, it's, it's very disappointing uh, that they lost all that, they dropped all that, and uh, the fact that this resulted in the spawn rapage almost every single game that I, that I go into. Uh, you know, either you win big or you lose big. I mean, there's the only close games that I've seen have been on uh, some of the larger maps. Um, so, anyways, you know, let, let's talk about some of the some of the good stuff that uh, that I like about the game. I mean, you know, the, obviously the class setup and, and how the classes mesh together. Um, you know, an engineer is vital. You need you need an engineer. You need to repair those uh, ammo crates because uh, you obviously spawn in with uh, a you know not a very oh man that's the worst getting freaking revived. It's a couple times now this game I've gotten revived right in front of the enemy. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, getting ammo is very, very important. Uh, the tactician class is absolutely essential. Uh, and it's probably the most important. I mean, forget, you know, forget the ammo. Forget anything else. If you don't have those tactical spawn points, you're done. If the enemy gets them, you're done. You're trapped in your base and that's all there is to it. Oh man, I tried to me me melee this guy again. Um, so, you know, obviously a tactician's vitally important. Uh, everybody, or a lot of people run the infiltrator. Oh man, this guy got me. A lot, oh, he got a freaking brutal melee back. I love the brutal melee system. It, it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Um, so, you know, the engineer, obviously, for ammo. Uh, set up turrets to, uh, to protect, uh, protect your, uh, you know, I'd set them up to protect your spawn points. Um, you know, the other classes as well. I've only played really, uh, I've played a lot of, uh, engineer and a lot of, um, a lot of marksmen. And the marksman's pretty good, you know, I'll, I'll go with the, uh, I think it's Sta 11. Uh, or is it Sta 52? Can't remember which one, uh, the marksman gets. And, uh, it's pretty cool, like, <laughs> I used to do in Killzone 2. I'd, uh, I'd go with a marksman, I'd cloak, and I'd stand in a constricted, uh, you know, either alleyway or hallway or stairway or whatever, and I'd wait for guys to come up and it's like, what the hell, I can't go up the stairs, and <laughs> i freaking melee them. But in this case, I brutally melee them. It's fun as hell. Um, I haven't sniped a whole lot. I don't have the uh, VC-32 sniper rifle unlocked yet. Uh, that's probably the only thing I don't have unlocked on the uh, on the marksman. And uh, I think the upgraded uh, oh, what the upgraded turrets I don't have uh, unlocked on the uh, the engineer. So you know, here we're on uh, we're on search and destroy. Uh, defense, but, you know, I mean, these guys can't get out of their spawn, so. Um, not sure what else to, to, to say about it. I, I know, uh, Meat Wagon's gonna be doing, probably do, be doing some other, uh, Kills on 3 videos, uh, multiplayer videos. I'm actually going to be going back to doing some more Black Ops. Uh, I've actually been away from Black Ops for some time now. Uh, probably over a month. Uh, you know, aside from zombies, aside from zombies, I'm talking, you know, regular multiplayer. So I'm actually going to get into that a little bit, or go back to it, because, uh, you know, for one, I've been away from it, but two, uh, you know, Guns isn't getting a lot of enjoyment out of the game, and uh, I still don't mind it, <laughs> you know, even though I haven't played in a while. Um, so I'm going to be uh, doing some more videos on that. I've actually have a few that I've recorded that I am going to post up. Oh, where the hell is this guy? Oh my god, where is he? Oh, how do you get behind me? I don't know. So, um, you know, out of the maps, the, the the few maps that I like, like I like uh, Corinth Highway, which is actually a pretty decent map, and it's, look at these guys have actually got out of their spawn. Huh. 
And I think we lost. Yeah, we we ended up losing our tactical spawn point here, and they actually got out of their spawn. So finally, you know, after six, you know, we're up six nothing, and they finally get out of their uh, their base, um, which is good. You know, then it turns, and this is where it turns into a. Well, it's not going to turn into much of a game because we're still up six nothing. But you know what I mean, right? It's 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 a hell of a lot better. It's a. Uh, I don't know, and I friggin' fail here epically. <laughs> Oh man, commit suicide. You know, and I and I hate to make this this whole gameplay video about uh, bashing the multiplayer, and I apologize for that. But I'm just pretty upset about it because I was really looking forward to this being a stellar, stellar game, and actually a step up from what they've done or what they had with Killzone 2. And it really isn't. It really isn't a step up. Um, you know. I'd rather, I would rather go back and play Killzone 2 than to play this multiplayer. I'm gonna cry. But, uh, you know, the, the campaign was obviously stellar. Um, if it wasn't for the, the being, not being able to set up custom game types and, um, and these tactical spawn points, then, then this game would probably, probably be perfect. And, uh, oh, nice. Oh, double kill. And the Star 3, the Star 3 is pretty wild. You can't, you know, I don't know if you've seen me actually, you can't actually aim down the sights of this thing. Uh, it's impossible. <laughs> you can scope in or, or aim down a little bit, and, and the reticle gets a little bit smaller, but not by much. Uh, it's kind of funny, actually. Uh, it's actually a perfect weapon for me. <laughs> I mean, your mobility, uh, you know, I don't think it actually is that different from uh, from the other classes anyway, even with the LMG versus uh, a lighter weapon. But uh, this, yeah, the Star 3 kicks some serious ass. It's obviously why it's the, uh, the last unlock. Oh, man, I'm pretty much toast here. Oh, explosive kill. Nice. Um, yeah, those proximity mines. Oh, man. What the... Okay, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> this map actually glitched on me. Like, I played a, a game on when I was on uh, ISA side, and uh, one of the ramps leading up to the ship uh, was actually glitched out, and people were running up it, like, there, as if there was a ramp there. And uh, I couldn't run up it. I actually ended up falling into the water every single time. So, you know, I think there's a couple spots where the, where the maps are a little glitchy as well. Um... So, I don't, yeah, uh, this game's coming to an end. Uh, I don't know what else to say to you guys. Hopefully, you know, one of our, or some of our other directors, even the guys on uh, NGT Games, will probably get some, hopefully get some uh, gameplay in for you guys. But, uh, you know, unless I see some demand for it, or there's a patch that, that fixes some of these issues, uh, I probably won't be playing much uh, Killzone 3. And I uh, apologize for that. Uh, you guys can beat me down or freaking set all kinds of thumbs down on this video uh, because of that, but, you know, I apologize. I just can't. It's it's really frustrating. Um, and like I said, I mean, there's plenty of guys out there that you can watch videos of them spawn raping, and I just don't, I just don't consider it fun. And, um, you know, I've done it a few times, and, you know, I don't have fun doing it. And I'm not going to do it. And I think I got, like, four kills right there. So... <laughs> I don't know. They didn't register because it was the end of the game, but I think I ended up getting four kills. So if you look at uh, the amount of points I got here, I end up with uh, over 13,000. You know, flaws victory, 15 LMG kills, 13,450 XP. And uh, I just ranked up here, so I'm rank uh, 24. And this was, uh, I think I played a few games after this. So 50 kills. 50 kills. I mean, I know my deaths were, were pretty high, but I was rushing in there. I, I didn't really, I didn't really care. I uh, just wanted to see how many kills I could rack up after a certain point in the game. Obviously, I didn't start out that way, um, but once we uh, spawn raped the enemy team, and I think actually right at the beginning of the game, there's a, there's some people like once we once we ended up um, capturing the tactical spawns and had them trapped in their spawn. Uh, there's a bunch of people or a few people that ended up leaving. So I mean, they had a lesser, uh, you know lower numbers on their team and it never actually filled up or maybe it did and people just kept leaving but 
like I said, uh, it's unfortunate. Leave your comments. What do you guys think? Um, what what has your experience been with uh, Killzone 3 and and exactly what I'm talking about here? Maybe you guys have. Maybe you guys don't see it, uh, or maybe you guys get into games where where it's fine. I don't know. Um, I have gotten into some games that are fine, but most of them, especially on the smaller maps, are, are just terrible. So, anyways, that has been uh, my Killzone 3 two-part multiplayer video. Hope you guys liked it. <laughs> For nextgentactics.com, I'm Spiderbite, and I'm out. Hey, guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network.